Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 49 here on planet 26. Well, the uh, last episode, we have been working on the crew's sleeping quarters, sleeping and living quarters. We'd already, we finished the downstairs and got that done. And then uh, basically the last episode, I worked on the shower uh, area so the uh, restroom facilities and you've got sinks you've got uh, shower areas and some locker room some lockers for placing your stuff in there uh, for your shower so we pretty much got this uh, the shower area done so now what uh, we have to do is finish the sleeping quarters. And I was having a bit of a tough time trying to get those in place here. So this is what I'm gonna be working on today is try to figure out exactly uh, how I want to place the sleeping quarters. I have, uh, my idea here was that this is gonna be like the ops manager, the kind of the uh, main head guy that uh, is here on base and this is going to be his sleeping arrangements so he ends up with a bit of a private area uh, I've got a desk and his bed uh, side side table here and another little uh, cabinet uh, whatnot uh, I'm going to try to put a few more decorations in here maybe some sort of vanity type thing and see what we can kind of come up with uh, here. So let me get started on this and see if I can't uh, get some uh, some more of this done and see if I can't uh, come up with a little better uh, scheme of things as far as how I want to have this looking here. So I'll get back with you here in a little bit.
well, just to kind of give you an update on uh, where I am at, uh, I have uh, slowly been trying to frame in the sleeping area. And uh, so this would be shared by two guys. You got two bunks in here. Same with this one. Same with actually all of these. This guy down here has got a little bit of a maze to get into where he's at, or these two, but uh, they'll have uh, the two bunks here and uh, then uh, I can put uh, an extra cabinet in here. Uh, and I think, I don't know if I can get extra cabinets in, in each of these, but uh, that's what we're kind of, that's what I'm kind of looking at right now. Uh, this is just, uh, matter of fact, let's take this out for now. Uh, this is the other supervisor's room, other ops manager's room. Uh, so you have, we'll have two of them for, you know, one for the morning or day shift, one for the night shift. Uh, he has a little extra storage area down here. And so uh, I think this is steadily starting to come around. I changed the color. Uh, that bright green was just a little too much. I think the duller green is or i might uh i don't know if i want to go to all orange in here but i might do that as well we'll see because it's real easy to paint these things so i can uh, actually do some painting on that uh i've got to figure out the types of doors i want to put on here uh these doors i think work pretty good over here for the shower area uh but i think i might want to try to go see what we got for uh, modded doors let's uh let's go to g and let's go down if we look down at our doors down here uh these are all window type doors so i don't know if i want to go with so these are window clear tinted tinted i might uh, go with a tinted uh window door maybe something like this uh, let's just go to our doors and see what we got uh we have these industrial doors i'm not real keen on that uh the standard door no i'm i, I just don't care for those they just kind of don't look all that good uh that's why i use these particular doors a lot and then uh, the sci-fi sliding door, I think that's for small, uh, small block. So I'm not sure which one of these I want to put in. I'm probably going to end up with a tinted, tinted door, uh, something, uh, something uh, that where it's tinted on the outside, so on the inside it's clear. Uh, looking out and then it's tinted uh, going in. So I think that that's what the doors are going to be. I think. So let me go ahead and get a little farther along on here. Let me start building out some of these uh, steel uh, partitions and then I can kind of start uh, trying to do a little more decorating. I think this area out here is going to end up with some more uh, with maybe a couple of table and chairs over here again. This is sleeping quarters So it's not really meant to have a lot of activity up here uh, Any of the activity is going to be downstairs So I think this is going to be pretty straightforward and I think as I get a few more decorations in here, maybe some storage uh, Blocks over, you know kind of stacked around here uh, some decorative blocks stuff like that that uh, this place will start uh, kind of shaping up a little bit so let me go ahead and get started on that uh, let me kind of build some of this stuff out and see how it all looks
Well, I think for the most part, I have this upstairs done. Uh, I still have to put sensors on all of these doors and I'll uh, do that. Uh, I'm going to have another episode where uh, I've got to finish everything up. So uh, we're going to have to put sensors in all these doors. But I think I've kind of got uh, the decorations and stuff in that, that I want to have. Uh, I pretty much can't really put much more in. I can't put anything against these walls just because of the direction or the block that it's taking up. So that's why these are sitting out a little bit farther away or there's nothing against these walls. Uh, all of these doors, I went with the tinted doors. Uh, if we uh, open these up on the inside, I've got a bunk and a cabinet, but I can't, I just can't put anything else in there just because of the way the uh, uh, voxels are facing. Uh, so pretty much uh, would like to have been able to put more stuff in, but just can't. But I think this is fine because, you know, it's a uh, working uh, base or it's a working uh, industrial outfit. And uh, you've got bunks and you've got a little bit of uh, uh, storage there. Uh, if I had a better cabinets, I'd put in better cabinets, but that is what it is. You know what I could probably do, and I might, is put uh, lockers in. Next, let's try that. Let's see if we can do something like that. And that's what I may end up doing in these. Because we've got, uh, make sure I didn't grind any of these down. Yep, okay. Uh, let's uh, go to, I, I might have actually already pulled them down. Where are they? All right, maybe I didn't. Uh, oh, I did. Here it is, two. So what if we put one of these in there, in each of these? That actually, I think that makes more sense, actually. Let's uh, plop that in there. Uh, let's uh, go get the uh, components for that. Paint it and see how it looks and see if that doesn't make uh, more sense than those little uh, cabinet vanities. If I had a lot more room, then maybe those could go in there as well. But actually that locker might do the trick. So let's uh, get that one in. And uh, if I like it, then I'll go ahead and put that in the others as well. Place those little cabinets with, those, with that big locker. Uh, where was it? This one over here, I believe. Yeah, let's finish. And what color should we paint it? Uh, got red. Let's try a yellow. Uh, how about, what if we do it like this? Let's, uh, Grind this down. And what if we put it facing this away? Like that. The lighting doesn't really do it justice, and I probably can't get a light in here. Uh, because that's facing in. Uh, I can't even put a light in here. Uh, let's, uh, turn it around again. And let's, uh, put it back. Maybe over this way? No, that won't. Let's uh, put it that way. I think the lighting will look better. It's better on the lighting. And so that gives these guys that are here a locker each and community storage, stuff like that. So 
that uh, I think that works. And so I think what I need to do is let's uh, open this up and let's take this out and let's go to two and we'll put a locker in each of these all right well let me get that done and once i get those in place i'll uh, catch back up with you I think I am about done with this room up here. You know what I could do is maybe put one more. I think that's what I'll do. Let's do this. Uh, two, three, nine. All right, maybe put one more of these right here. And uh, let me go get the stuff for that and then we can kind of go through everything that we everything that we've done up here upstairs at uh it, it, maybe not quite what i want but i think all in all i don't think it looks all that bad all right there we go all of our components and let's build that one out and that kind of fills that last little space. And we'll see how this all uh, looks up here. All right, so that kind of blocks that off. So you've kind of got like a walkie way in here. You've got a few lockers here, some storage bins. And so that kind of, kind of breaks that up. I went ahead and put a locker in the ops manager's room. The uh, gives him more space or more stuff to put things. So he's got his cabinet. I had to move that, and I thought it looked better instead of putting, you know, blocking the desk. Uh, I could have probably put the no. I don't think I could have put the desk on this side because that's right there. This is. The only block that I had available for the desk. So I think all in all, this room doesn't look too bad. I just can't put anything more. I, I'd love to put stuff along this wall here, uh, but I've got the door and stuff right here. So I just can't fill that in. Uh, each of these rooms has a locker in it. And I think that looks better than that little uh, vanity that was in here. So uh, again, I just can't put anything in these these areas here because this block is taking it up because I had to put the bed on that other side so that's kind of filling this block in right here 
So that's each of these rooms. They all look the same. Uh, this one down here as well, you can see that. And then uh, this second ops room, I put his locker back over in the corner uh, just because uh, I couldn't put it anywhere else. Let's see. I think this, let me see something here. Let's just do a quick test. Maybe I could have put a little closer here. I don't think I could have though, but let's see if it'll, see if it would go in here. No, it won't, it won't go in this, this space here. Uh, I think because of this panel right there is why. So I had to put it all the way in the back, but that's okay. Uh, this ops manager, he's like the junior ops manager. So he gets the lesser quarters, but he has plenty of room. He has a desk, he has a vanity and a book stand or a night shelf. And then he has his locker down there. And then I kind of filled this in around out here with some chairs and whatnot, tables. And I turned these around. I had them kind of facing out a little bit different direction. And I like these this way a little bit more. So that's the upstairs. The only thing that's left to do up here is to put sensors in all of these doors. And uh, I'm probably going to have a day of doing that. Uh, and I might just do those offline uh, instead of trying to, to do those during a, a recording session. So that's that up here. Uh, down here, this is done. Uh, I kind of like the way this all turned out down here. Uh, I still got to put a door in here. Let's, uh, let's get that door in and let's see what door. Okay, that's the door, and let's see something here. Light. Okay. Let's see if we can find that door. Five. Actually, I think it's that one right there. Let's uh, go ahead and get all the components for that. And which way do I have this door? I have the door facing on the inside, I think. Uh, and we we want gray. Uh, let me get my paint set here. I think we want gray, and I think we want the carbon fiber for it. Oh, where are you at? Doors, there you are. Five. That block is facing out. I wanna to try to keep these the same. And I th think, no, I think I want them facing, I, I think I need it facing inside because I need to put those rails on, I believe. So if we go in here and do it like this, I think that's the way we want to do that. Kind of left that open that door all off because I was going in and out so yeah I think that's the right way okay so we've got this door on so I think for the most part other than putting those sensors in on all of the doors I think the living quarters is pretty much done at least I'm going to call it done anyway uh, so next episode we are going to 
Uh, finish. Let me get outside here. So next episode, we're going to go down here. There's a few more touches that have to be done on the medical bay. And then we're going to get started on security. Uh, security and control center. So I still have to finish out these. I think I want to paint these a different color, maybe a lighter blue, which would be much more for the medical. Maybe maybe that uh, turquoise color that uh, I've got in there, that will probably work. So I need to get these all finished up and uh, get the sensors on the door. And uh, I think, uh, I think that'll about wrap this area up as well. All right, well, let's go back down here and uh, go back inside the living quarters. We'll wrap this video up. Oh, I got to finish this area down in here as well. Okay, let's go back up and uh, finish up upstairs. All right, well, I think we're going to call this good. Uh, if you... Uh, like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Ring that bell. It'll let you know when I am uploading new videos. And I'm doing that on a regular basis. Okay, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low. Don't get shot. And keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.